innovations that could reduce the cost of implementation and accelerate realization of the 17 sustainable development goals is continuously being impeded by lack of funds you need a very different and varied kind of capital you need probably capital at very early stage that probably need not be significant 100 million 200 million 500 million uh, but you would need capital at all stages and as i said there is a very large quantity of capital 200 trillion odd dollar which is lying with the private sector which is willing to break into africa if opportunities are provided for it to generate returns it is estimated that the achievement of the sdgs require at least 2 trillion dollars annually indian based impactful investment in telecap through its africa arm sankalp africa is seeking to avail funds of up to 15 billion shillings that can be accessed by entrepreneurs in various fields such as agriculture, energy, performing arts, information, technology, and health. And this fund specifically designed called Avishkar Africa Fund. What we believe in is there is a significant gap in the demands that young entrepreneurs have in terms of early stage capital and what is being provided currently in the ecosystem. And the bigger challenge is how do you scale a small enterprise into something significant given the challenge that you have. And if you put in half a million dollars, you get a very small amount of scale in a, series, in a short period of time. So our real belief is if you, the Avishkar model is we identify a strong management team and give them a significant amount of capital. It could be 2 million, 3 million, 5 million, right at the stage of idea conception. Intelecup, through its Sankalp Africa initiative, has financed 15 entrepreneurs at a tune of 25 million shillings across the continent, where mobile loan platform Inukapap scooped the top award. And what that created in terms of, you know, leverage was about 11 million. So we created, you know, out of the $250,000 that went into few entrepreneurs, they were able to leverage it to 11 million actually. So that's the multiple that can be created if enough people get interested. Copper gas from Tanzania seeking to eliminate charcoal use by the year 2030 emerged second while Hogo Foods was third. Ronald Willie, Business Insight.